Today we're gonna take this small pile of parts and turn it into this awesome 10 to 80 meter five watt common mode choke from N6 ARA. My name is Mike, K at MRD, and this is Ham Radio Tube. The first thing we wanna do is make sure we have all our parts. So we should have a female BNC, we should have a male, we should have a green and a red magnet wire, a tiny little toroid, both of our PCBs, and our case. Next, we're gonna wrap our toroid with these wires. So we don't wanna cross these wires. We wanna keep them in the same orientation. So I'm gonna do the red on the right and the green on the left. And we're just gonna try and keep that throughout the whole process without screwing anything up. And this toroid is tiny. So we want to leave a couple inches out and then we can start wrapping and I'm just going to fold the wire over and kind of coax it through the hole with some pliers. To keep everything from crossing the streams. We don't want to do that. So there's two wraps. I'm going to do 10 more to give a total of 12 wraps. Wish me luck. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Geez, only six more to go. I'm just gonna bunch them close. We only wanna fill up like half of this toroid. So we do need to get these pretty darn tight. Eleven, can we squeeze one more in here? The directions say between 10 and 12. I'm kind of of the mindset that more is better, but Boy, these are, <laughs> these are fun. I've been winding these for 10 and a half minutes now. What the heck, I'm a glutton for punishment. Let's go for 12. Oh yeah. So that's good, you got plenty of extra wire in case you screw something up. All right, beautiful. And the instructions say to just kind of tighten them all together. And that is our happily wrapped toroid. Next, we're gonna solder our toroid onto the back side of this PCB. This is the front that says in and out. This is the back that says N6ARA. So we're gonna take the green wire, that's gonna go on the top left, and the red wire is gonna go on the bottom left. Go ahead and insert that. And on the top right, our red wire is gonna go through here. And the bottom right, the green wire. Like such. Then we're gonna cut the wires. The directions say to just trim them like flush with the circuit board. I'm not gonna cut all four off yet because we need to solder this. Cut those a little more flush. All right. Use some helping hands to squeeze the toroid on the PCB there. And theoretically, the heat should melt the enamel from the magnet wire per the instructions. So we'll just go ahead and solder like we mean it. work. All right. That's looking good. And we can do the other side. Go ahead and trim these wires. I had to put a little more solder on that one than I would have liked, but it should be okay. 
Yeah, a little too much solder on there. It's okay. We'll go ahead and clean this off with some rubbing alcohol. Q-tip, get rid of that flux. Beautiful. Now we wanna go ahead and check for continuity. So we're gonna take the top left and the bottom right, and that is good. And then the top right and the bottom left, and that's good. Make sure nothing else shorts out. All right, we did it right. Next, we're gonna fit the BNC female to the side that says out, but we need to bend the center connector in just a little bit so it will have kind of a friction fit on the PCB. So we'll just take some needle nose pliers here. Let's try that. It's too much. No? Okay, good. So see how we've got a nice friction fit on there. It's not coming off. That is what we want. Then we want to do the same thing with the BNC male on the in side of the pad. So I'm going to go ahead and bend the center conductor a little bit. Maybe. There we are. Probably too much in true K at MRD fashion, but there we are. Okay. So now we've got a snug fit and you want to make sure these are firmly seated on the PCB. So make sure they're pushed in, you know, all the way like that. Now I'm going to solder the four kind of legs of the BNCs together. I've got it in some helping hands. So I'm going to do the bottom ones first and then I'll flip it around, do the others. And then we're going to turn it over and solder the center conductor. That's the plan anyway. Great if we can get some heat transfer going. Let's try some flux. Yeah, these pins are gonna take up a bit of heat, so be patient. Wait for it to flow, but there we are. We got that pad. Let's try this one. There she goes. I got a little on the top here and my OCD is getting the best of me, so I'm gonna try and Get a little of that off. There. Flux reflow that really quick. Now I'm happy with that. Now we gotta do the other side. Hit it with a little flux there. All right. One more to go. I think that'll do. I think that'll do. Not too shabby. Clean that up with some alcohol real quick and then solder the center pins. All right, nice and clean. Let's hit the other side now. Oh, 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 oh. That one's going pretty quick. Nice. Nice. And finally this other center pin. See if it'll go as smooth as the last one. Yep, it is. Oh, I spoke too soon. Flow, baby, flow. All right. And some good connections on the center conductor. Now, the last thing we need to solder is this PCB to the top. And note how that says wrong side. If we flip it over, now it says tiny CMC. So this is gonna fit in between here. Now it should be kind of a friction fit. My left side fits in quite well. The right side is kind of just hanging there, but um, I think my BNCs are slightly off kilter because this side's a little bit thicker than the other, but uh, hopefully that won't affect anything. Otherwise I'll have to finagle it, but I'm gonna go ahead and solder this side. And then once that's tacked in, we should be able to solder the right hand side. Dang it. Uh, might have to do it the hard way. <laughs> oh, you know what? Oh, I've got a donk. Tell me no. Ha! Ah! Yeah, why not? Let's fill this in a little bit more. Yeah, that works for me. All right. Do it again. 
take that. That don't look too bad, I say. Let it cool down, then we'll clean her off with some alcohol. And now we're officially done soldering everything, so I just want to check continuity between the center conductors, make sure we didn't screw anything up. Hey, that's a good sign. And it is not shorted to ground, but that has continuity too. So we did it right. And now the last thing to do is to insert our choke into this little case here. It should theoretically just snap in. It says go with the male side first, and then the female side. It is 3D printed though. So I wonder what our tolerance is. Oh, there we are. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. It just worked. I'll be darned. Now we have a nice tiny little common mode choke. So how cool is that? Now you can have, say you got an 818, an 817, and throw a little choke on the front there, just like that with your antenna, with your BNC. Maybe you got a 705. Go ahead and plug that guy right into there. How freaking cool is that? Just a tiny little common mode choke. I freaking love that. That is so cool. Beautiful.